So it, it seemed to me that there was concern about the amount of money. Um, and I think that uh, the amount of money that we're talking about would pave three quarters of the block, maybe, uh, resurface that. That's kind of the equivalent. But there was a concern that maybe the money would be spent better somewhere else. So I am strongly recommending that we uh, accept the LEDC's offer to cost share this resource, this human resource. We have done that in the past with the Mayor's Office of Economic Development uh, very successfully. Uh, and, and I think this, the work he's already done has, has demonstrated that there's a tremendous quality available. Uh, and I would like for the council to approve spending $3,000, which we still have in the savings of the changes in human resources that we've made. So if we're just redirecting human resource dollars to uh, to match LEDC and hire Brett as the director of special projects to work on these items along with LEDC. Just to facilitate the discussion, I will make a motion to accept uh, your recommendation as of uh, Brett Bolton as director of special projects and uh, the compensation is stated on the page. So that's a, we have a motion, we have a second. That's a okay, discussion. What's the time frame? Um, it's specified on the sheet. Uh, we can take on this September 2nd. Yeah, that was the, the general model. Yeah. Um, okay, I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. Yeah. And what was the dollar amount? It's, it's $3,000, uh, which is half of what we need to make it happen. The ABC has already agreed to partner and pay the other half. Mm -hmm. So they, they believe that there is a community organization that's saying these are important things we'd mm -hmm. like to okay, facilitate. Which is, from my understanding, I know I missed that meeting, that's this 3000 is a far cry from what you initially thought it was going to be. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Those are just... Absolutely, uh, and, and Brett would be communicating with them because there's so much of this that's economic development and you understand community. Um, so, so yes, and also Jeff, to your to your point, the economic pieces of this, I, I'm hoping that the whole plan is to wind up in a situation where we're going to hire a full-time professional economic developer, and so there there may be some overlap in what that does, but I'm not. 
approaching this as hiring an economic developer. I'm approaching this under the model that I've just seen be very successful over the last six weeks uh, in working with Brad. And, um, I'd like to see that continue. Other discussion? Yeah, Todd. Is uh, <coughs> Brad going to be working with the economic development this we just passed an ordinance in to install or is he gonna be working with him? Is that what he's gonna be working with him? I I this I, panel that we're gonna are you talking about community edge? Yeah. Community edge will work with with everybody very inclusively. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I guess the point the point uh, uh, taking point is the administration but they'll work with the council they're gonna See, they're going to work with uh, all our organizations that are involved. They're interested in inventory and understanding. So, yeah, that's a He's going to be intertwined with all of this, whatever he can promote. In the parts that overlap these, yes. But if there's something additional we need that it would facilitate, I'd like to think that that, that would be an adjustment everybody would be happy to see happen. I've been rather vocal about the fact that I think. he's working on. Maybe the choice of one or two projects that would be much better for us because there are only a limited number of people in this town. People that want to work on projects. I'm not making sense I know. But I'm saying well, are you are you just saying are we are we throwing too much at him in yes. that four month period? Yes. Yes. Um, we this is a prioritized service. This is a prioritized list, mm -hmm. so the, and the two things that, that take priority are the Providence mm -hmm. Project for LEDC and the workforce development effort for me. Mm -hmm. The riverfront development, most of that's done, it's a matter of continuing it, and the communication plan, most of that's in place, and it's a matter of continuing it. I just, they're, they're not in a resolved, self-sustaining mm -hmm. place yet, and I'd like to see them get there. So, I, so maybe that's a little misleading, the network and Volunteers are part of the process by which he goes about attacking these things that's been very effective. So, couldn't the mayor follow up on some of these things that are almost there and we could use that money other places? The mayor is, <laughs> and, and I am a part time resource that doesn't have enough time to do this job already. So, I, I am asking for assistance. <laughs> I have a question to make sure I'm not out of order, but I named Brett and I named Brett Bolton in the in the, in the uh, motion. No, that's correct. Did I violate the second no. section or no. no? Okay. Let's make sure. You don't have to go to executive session to talk I'm about it. I'm not sure I'm out of order. So I move along. So it's a motion and was there a second? Yes. Yes, yes. it's a second. This is a discussion. I just yeah. want to be gen generous with the discussion because I'm introducing this line. What is the uh, workforce development effort? Okay. So Matt Cobb this really kicked into gear. It's been on my mind. Lori's talked with me several times about it. Uh, fifth year approach to me. Uh, Matt Comble, the president, came to me and said, what can, I'm glad you're in office, what can I do to partner, what can fifth year do to partner with you to help advance Louisiana? We talked about a variety of different possibilities, but we landed on work because it was a shared, uh, you know, we both have a direct So we put together a meeting that had uh, three executives from fifth year. Uh, it had Lori Helke, uh, so she was there as the YM, YMCA. Uh, I invited Jeff if he couldn't make it. Uh, we had uh, Rich Gaston uh, for our two school district, and we had Chris Tedders uh, from the chamber. And we just brainstormed work, the status of workforce in our area, where the problems, what can we put our hands on to do. That meeting resulted in identifying three things that we really can act on. Those three things prioritized, mostly coming from fifth year priority, uh, were, were the child care, uh, housing, and work ethic and injury. I subsequently went to the hospitals, human resources, and it was, this was very well received from them. They're interested in 
participate. Uh, I went to um, Stark Brothers and talked with them. They're interested in participating. They added transportation issues to, to the list. So the idea is to get all of our major employers together to identify what the problems are identify ta tangible things that we can do to start implementing them and then get these things going. So for example, Kent had uh, established uh, about three months ago a land boards association in Louisiana. It's fantastic. It meets with them periodically. They were about to have a meeting. Housing was one of the workforce issues that we had identified. So we had a work, we went to you know, my loose little just now for group went to talk about workforce with these landlords and how housing impacts that. It was a very good conversation. We talked, there were a lot of good ideas that came out of it about strategies to build a more stable workforce. Fifth years, stepping up to the plate, offering facilities, offering to change some of their introduction curriculum, etc. cetera. Uh, NECAC got involved with some of, uh, I can't remember what's her name. Who was there? Do you know? Which one? <laughs> um, anyway, somebody was there from Mika. She she was familiar with some training you guys do on you know personal budgeting and stuff like that. Uh, so we were looking at right. So we were looking at trying to maybe identify some credentialing to give some preferred status for some of these workers. We're looking at things like I could talk about this for hours. Yeah, but I mean, I got a question I want to ask. Um, I know we're talking about two installments, three thousand from three thousand partnership. I'd be 100% on board with this. If we would reward this, I mean, I'd have to ask what your motion was to begin with. I'd rather see us give the LADC 3,000, give them 3,000. Let them hiring, let them pay, everything goes through him instead of bringing him on as a director or special prior. It's not a full-time position, it's part-time, it's a, a contract, short -term. like short, short term. Um, well, the problem, the problem with that, Tim, is that the whole thing is that LADC is not in a position to, to do what I am in a position to do with Brett. That I, one of the things that we are bringing to the table is me, administratively, working with Brett to facilitate these things. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not changing any of that. What, all I'm saying is, you know, let them pay him as a subcontract employee. Okay. okay. And, and we still get involved, but still work with you. It's, but it falls under the LEDC. I mean, I think it'd be more palatable to, you know, this is the LEDC, you know, we're partnering up with them to make this happen. Okay. And I know, I know what we're doing. It's just schematics as far as the. Who's paying what? And how it's being paid? Otherwise, was it advertised? Otherwise, who all interviewed for it? Otherwise, this has all happened so quick. Mm -hmm. We wanted to. We want to utilize this. Is, this is an extension. Right of, this is an extension of I'm, a person, an internship. I'm, I, I agree. Very beneficial. I just think schematically. I think if we wrote the check to the LADC right. for three thousand dollars, that would. I'm, I'm against that for a variety of reasons. If that's the only way this can happen, I would accept it. Um, I would rather that we retain a full voice in, in the way this is happening. Uh, I would retain, rather retain that it shows up on Brett's uh, curriculum vitae that he's worked for a municipality. Um, so there's a variety of reasons that, that I think that it's best if we partner with uh, and work directly with one of our strong community organizations in this effort. I think it's a great model. It's worked in the My concern is it's 120 days that he'll be working for us. How many fragments are we going to be left with him to try to straighten out at the end of the 120 days? How many things will he have completed enough that it was worth having him here to start? Well, what was the last month of that? I mean, the whole youth council piece. Mm -hmm. that's, a month and, that's a month's worth of Right, yeah, but right. As, that's a big deal. As far as I know, they just came here and talked to us. They, right. have, they haven't shown me anything that they've done. Okay, okay. 
Yeah. Who's including voting? Including voting? No, that's the tissue that I will pick up later. But yeah. Many of them didn't vote. On what? In the last election. They're too young. Yeah. No, all of them were too young. There's only about two that maybe would have been old enough. I think. Um, okay, we're going to urge you. Who's second the motion? Okay. I mean, I would mean, if you would drop it, I would I would suggest an amendment to pay the LADC, but you, that's your decision. Robin? Could I just ask two questions real quick? First of all, did we not have an economic development person before? Uh, Mr. Powers or whatever his name was. I mean, this is not a new position you're this, creating. This is a new position. This is it, not well, but I mean, in terms of, in, it, it's a better position actually. But I'm saying he he is taking up a niche here that has been left vacant. I think really since since um, Masonic has been gone. But my question is this: I don't think the city can write a check to LEDC. Yeah, We're talking about taxpayers' money, and I don't think we have an issue too. Yeah, exactly. I haven't even thought about that. So that's a that's a really really good point. Um, and to, and for, for example, when we did fireworks, we had to pay directly to the vendor. We had to pay chamber and then chamber pay because of that issue. We don't have anything right now, right? And he's got these okay. things going on. Uh, please call the roll. Mr. Carter? No. Mr. Darnell? Yes. Mr. Gay? Yes. Mr. Hoffman? I'm not going to say yes. Mr. Oakley? Present. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Stephen? No. Second item that we have is the real estate, and the only reason that we're bringing this up again is because the motion that we've already had to for this Board. sale included spe the specific acreage, and the acreage is more than that was, and I didn't want to go beyond what was approved by council. Uh, so the correct acreage is 5.06, but the rate is the same, so it's the rate will be the same per acre. So we had just no problem with the one yeah. I no, he's, he's agreed to it. I didn't want to make the sale without council approval oh, okay. on that additional acre or because whatever. He, yeah, he thought it was only 2.5. When, when I calculated it, I, yeah. I thought it was only 2.55. Mm -hmm. But when Marty laid it, when the surveyor laid it out, he came up with okay, more and acres. He, and Kurt knows it's going to be five acres? Yes. Oh. Or did the 3.75 come from? Yeah. Well, I think what happened is I excluded what I thought was going to be Ameren easement and right of way, which, but that's still considered part of the acreage. <coughs> so I'd like a motion to approve the sale of Five. the additional acreage. Is this going to have to be drafted anyway? And yeah, and here's what in order. Robert's got the legal description of it, and we will basically what we'll do is develop a sales contract. Okay. The parties will sign, the mayor will sign. So you want Curtis to sign the order? 
I'm asking for approval to go ahead and sign that contract. I'll make I'm it asking for it tonight. So can like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait on that to bring it to you because then it'll be another month down the road before we can do it. So we have a we have a motion and a second, correct? Yeah. Discussion? How much exactly is he buying and what's he paying for? A thousand dollars per acre is we agree on. And it's How five many? acres. Five, five, five point oh six. six. Did you second? Yeah. Yeah. Second. I heard Lori first, she's closer. Okay. Uh, please call us up. Mr. Carr? Yeah. Mr. Dunham? Yes. Mr. Gay? Yes. Mrs. Helke? Yes. Mr. Hoffman? Yes. Mr. Oakley? Yes. Mrs. Smith? Yes. Mr. Stevens? Yay. Yeah. Very good, thank you. And uh, I would like to have a motion, and I'd like for it stated in the motion, and I'll hand you this paper if you'd like to read it, to adjourn to an executive session pursuant to section 610021, subsection 3, personnel. Amend that motion to include the city council, the city clerk, the police chief, the mayor, and the city attorney. Second. We have to state the non council members that will be there. Is that what you're indicating? Why? Okay. That's